Let's move on to the Wyoming Cowboys and Craig Bowl went seven and six last year. Now I had high hopes for this bunch last year, and they just did not uh, do what they were supposed to do at all. Uh, and on top of that, this year, look, returning production, they're number 129 in the country. There are 131 FBS teams this year. Now that we have added James Madison, there's going to be more next year. But 129 is, you know, next to last. I mean, it's just ridiculous. They lose pretty much everybody. Their roster strength is way, way, way down. Uh, even worse than usual for their recruiting standards. Um, they lost a bunch of dudes. They just lost Solomon Bird in the uh, transfer portal. Uh, they lost both of their quarterbacks, Sean Chambers and Levi Williams, left. Uh, the running back, Valade, uh, went to Arizona State. Uh, the wide receiver, Isaiah Naor, um, he left to go to Texas. I mean, they, they lost a bunch of DBs. Uh, just not great things here. Um, they did bring in quarterback Andrew Peasley from Utah State, the backup guy. And uh, and he might be pretty good. So we'll see there. On offense, it's a whole new cast, but they're going to have to put up more points than they did last year because the defense is just not going to be as good. They lost too many guys. Um, the offense was not great last year. So, you know, and you know that I love teams like this, uh, especially Craig Bowl, what he does. He likes to run the football, et cetera. Um, you know, they, they got Titus Swin, the running back, uh, back this year. And he was the backup last year, but his numbers were uh, relatively close to Valadez. So, uh, secondary lost six of their top seven. They did get transfers from Ole Miss and Wisconsin. They're still not as likely to be as good as uh, as they were last year. The defensive line and linebacking core look pretty stacked, but you can only do so much to prop up the secondary, especially in this conference. Uh, brother, like, I, I've got this team four and eight, and I don't like that because I, I like what Craig Bold does but, man, when you get hit with the transfer portal and all of those seniors that graduated, um, I just, I mean, you're, you're going to have to try and develop guys early. They play Illinois, Tulsa, uh, Air Force at BYU in the first, like, four of the first five games. I just, I don't think it's going to be good this year. Uh, so, I'm, I'm at four and eight. What are you looking at? Four and eight. Wow, we have one that we're, like, wildly apart. Wildly apart, but almost all the rest of them, we have been as close as you could possibly be. Uh, we, I mean, we've been the exact same on, on several. several of these so far. Yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah. Um, I just I got them four and eight. When I, I, when I look I, at this, I, I, I think there's not a lot of hope here. La no, last year you tried to snooker me in on on them being good, and I just didn't see it. I kind of stayed where I was at. Yeah. Yeah, you you were smarter than me on that. Uh, I just I really thought like they had everything in place last year, and and you look at the roster, and it certainly looked like they did. But uh, who and the schedule was set up like brilliantly for them, and they just looked awful at certain points. It was why well, you ridiculous. can't look at the schedule, my friend. Ah, uh, so ridiculous, just so ridiculous. But either way, either way, so we both have them around four and eight. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.